Hi, I'm Brody Beta, and this is Geeklish, episode 10. The iPad 2 hit 25 countries yesterday, and many of us are going to be spending the weekend trying out apps specifically designed and optimized for the iPad 2. In addition to FaceTime and iMovie, users are also going to get a whole new genre of apps on the tablet, augmented reality. So I must admit, the idea of using augmented reality apps on a tablet really didn't excite me that much before, because holding up the tablet is a little bit cumbersome. But after watching a video by Matteo, I totally understand why augmented reality is even better on the tablet. Gineo browser, having that extra real estate on the screen provides an immersive experience for users. In other words, it is freaking cool looking on a tablet. Now using augmented reality apps on a tablet might not be that practical for outdoor use, and I'm not, likely not going to pull out my iPad on the street to start checking points of interest. But still, there's a lot of cool stuff about to come out of the augmented reality space specifically designed for tablets. This next category of AR apps is definitely not as hot or as trendy as I first imagined it would be. I'm not sure if it's lack of interest or lack of quality, but augmented reality shopping should be a lot more popular on the iPhone. I'm not suggesting you use an app to try in a bikini or a new pair of jeans. I'm talking about the ability to try on different hairstyles, glasses, even t-shirts. And with the larger screen of the iPad and a front-facing camera, a new type of magic mirror apps will be hitting the App Store. the company behind this new iPad 2 app has been a leader in the AR space and its software diffusion has powered awesome projects like the AR helicopter. Whether you're an iOS developer or just winging it and hoping for the best, there's an app you might want to check out before submitting to the App Store because it's able to locate your private API sitting in your code. App Scanner is available for free on the web and it was just rejected from the Mac Store. Probably has something to do with the fact that it runs the same process as Apple does to find the private API sitting in your code. Since Apple has been quite strict on their app approval process, you might want to check it out. And after all, it is free. Color is a mobile photo sharing app that received a lot of press this week. It's able to organize photos by events, and it shares photos with anyone 150 feet away from you using the Color app. We found an app in the same vein, however this one has more of an emphasis on privacy. 
Decimed, like Color, is able to collectively contribute to nearby digital albums, and it shares and uploads automatically. But with Pixamid, you're able to privately send private albums to your Facebook friends. You're also able to tweak within Pixamid who sees your photos. This app is a cure for disorganization, and by checking into a location or by joining, it will cleverly organize your photos by event. I'd like to thank the sponsors of this episode, GadgetFreeway.com, a site that carries a wide variety of gadgets and gadget accessories. The Drift X170 is an all-in-one point-of-view camera, and it comes with a variety of mounts, an LCD screen, remote control, 300-degree rotating lens, and supports USB. The mounts can be used to record footage from your goggles, helmet, or handlebars, and it's ideal for mountain biking, snowboarding, and moto sports. Once the camera's mounted, the lens can be rotated through 300 degrees into the perfect position. The wireless remote control can start and stop your videos or take photos, but recording can also be started and stopped directly from the camera. The cam records at 30 frames per second, it has 32 megabytes of built-in memory, and it supports 16 gigabytes on SD memory cards. You can grab the Drift Action Cam for 200 bucks at GadgetFreeway.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out. I'm Brody Beta and you can reach me at Brody at the or you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at iPhone Girl. <laughs>